everyone, I'm Nicole. And I'm Lauren. And we are so excited to officially welcome you to Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. It's been such a long time in the making. I've been so excited. 18 months in the making and so much has changed to get ready for this weekend. Well, they've got a few little details to go, but we're almost there. I can't wait any longer. Let's go take a first exclusive look at the new circuit. Well, you've made it down to the grid, and it is a heck of a grid. It feels like a giant amphitheater. It's pretty incredible, and this building, I'm a little in awe. Well, it's long. It's three American football pitches oh, long. Oh, come on. It's field, and you know that. Obviously, we're in Las Vegas, so this is no ordinary paddock. There is a casino. There's also a wedding chapel for those who have not yet gotten hitched, and it's making me hungry just thinking of it. Gordon Ramsay has his own hospitality garage. Well, that is just one of the surprises in store. We've now relocated to the Paris Hotel and Casino to give you an idea of the fan experience. We're just in the center of the strip, right across from the Bellagio and the fountains. You can see Caesar's Palace back there. And all of these hotels and casinos have essentially taken their rooftops, their terraces, and turned them into party places for the entire weekend. And just picture how this is gonna be come Saturday night. It's gonna be absolutely packed in part because one of the best seats in the house, the track is right there. And there's two kilometers for you to find a view somewhere yes. along this strip. And you're gonna see the cars at average speeds of around 210 miles an hour. You're really gonna feel how fast they are. And they only ever go faster at Monza and they call that the Temple of Speed. So when we were here 18 months ago, just thinking about how this experience was gonna be, I don't think I could have understood how cool this was actually gonna be. Las Vegas has exceeded every expectation. Well, we've made it down to turn seven, and this is where the action's really going to heat up. Of the 17 corners around this track, five of them come thick and fast through here. And the fans have a fantastic view. I just hope that maybe they can stay a little warmer than we are. It's going to be chilly this weekend. Definitely, as the sun sets here in the desert, it gets really cold, and that's going to make this one of the coldest Grand Prix on the calendar. And that means we're going to be talking about tyres and tyre warm-up as well as how they react to this resurfaced track. Forget about the tires, let's talk about the fans yeah. again. One way to help them heat up the fan zones, specifically the acts in the fan zones. You've got Tiesto, you've got Blue Man Group roving around, you've got Kylie Minogue, and of course all of this is happening in the shadow of the new Vegas centerpiece. This sphere is, uh, it's, it's leaving me a little speechless. It's hard to really put into words just how dramatically big this is. 1.2 million LED screens on there. It's, it's a little mind blowing. This is it. We've seen it all from the Las Vegas Grand Prix and in one word, it's spectacular. I've definitely got goosebumps. I think I'm excited. It really feels like we're ready for a massive event. And we haven't even seen cars on the track yet. So in some ways, the best is yet to come. But the amazing part of all of this is we've been hearing for so long, this is the plan. This is what we're going to do. It was supposed to be the greatest show in the world. I was a little skeptical. I'm not anymore. It's going to be an incredible weekend. It's starting to feel like that, isn't it? When we were driving down the track and we had the lights and the assault on our senses. Yes. And that's what the driver's going to get as they're going down the two kilometer strip. They're really going to feel like they're in Las Vegas. And I think that was the whole point. We wanted a proper Las Vegas warm free. Mission accomplished. And now there's only one thing left to do. Enjoy the weekend.